Peggy 16. Hey everyone, this is John Garvin, writer and director of Uncharted Golden Abyss. Today I'm here to run you through some of the highlights of the two levels we're showcasing this week at the Tokyo Game Show. We start, of course, with the production values you come to expect from an Uncharted game. Not just the cinematics, created Naughty Dog style by recording Nolan North's motion and voice at the same time, but also in our detailed environments, like the swinging lantern that casts a moving shadow, and the bucket that Drake kicks out of his way, made possible by a full implementation of the Havoc physics engine. In previous demos, we've shown how you can use the sticks and buttons, or the touchscreen, to navigate hazards like these rickety pipes. But this week we're showing off something new, balance beams. While using motion sensors to control balance can be tricky, we discovered that having the screen and the controls all on the same device made the action much more intuitive. We've even added a balance meter to give you feedback on how you're doing. Nate! Hey! Over here! Hurry up! Chase? What are you doing? Where are we? Where's Dante? Why is the building on fire? No time! The arrows men are everywhere! Come on, get up here! Oh crap, I gotta go! Take everything. Another new feature we're showing off is Drake's machete, which he uses to clear obstacles and create paths. Whenever you need the machete, its icon will appear on the icon bar. Just tap it and we're in business. Using the touchscreen, I follow the arrows with my finger. If I do the gestures correctly, Drake will cut the tarp apart using his machete. One of the reasons we chose to demo this burning shack is that our special effects show off some of the power of the Vita. These kinds of effects, the particles, smoke, fire, dynamic lighting, and optical effects, would be impossible on any other handheld. And remember, the screen you're watching doesn't do it justice. You have to see this on the 5-inch OLED to appreciate how vibrant everything really is. One of our goals was to make the traversal gameplay as exciting as possible by having ledges, or in this case, pipes that break and fall. This level is pretty early in the game, so Drake won't fall to his death here, but riding a swinging pipe as it careens down a wall is always fun. Of course, it wouldn't be uncharted if Drake weren't constantly on the edge of blowing himself up or getting caught in one near catastrophe after another, and Uncharted Golden Abyss is no exception. Oh, this is crazy. Wow, that was close. If you look carefully off to Drake's right, you'll see something glinting inside that Vita Bolt sink. Again, it wouldn't be uncharted if you didn't have a full set of collectibles to search for. You see the glint? Now you have to figure out how to get over there and collect it. There are hidden paths and areas throughout all the levels, and exploration is highly encouraged as Drake seeks to find new treasures and solve bonus mysteries. That is, unless he's too busy running for his life. Not good. Run! I'm out of here. Fine. Sorry about that fire. I tried to create a diversion. It got a little out of hand. You could say that. So what happened at the dig site? The last thing I remember, I was beating up the butt of Guero's pistol with my face. Oh. It's like you tried the same stunt. Uh, it's nothing. Guero took me to his office for a game of 20 questions. Well, it doesn't look that bad. So much for a soldier's code of honor, huh? Yeah. When it was Dante's turn, I managed to escape. Dante? Where is he? They still have him. All right. Show me where. We need to grab him and get the hell out of here. Come on. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Guerrero still has my amulet. Look, I'm not leaving without it. Are you kidding? Look, when we get back to Panama City, you can drop him a nice note. Maybe if you ask politely, he'll return it. I'm serious. Yeah, I bet you are. Oh, crap. Looks like your diversion worked a little too well. 
Don't suppose you have a gun? I told you, I don't do guns. Don't do guns. Great. At E3, we introduced Jason Dante, one of the new characters in our game. And a couple of weeks ago, we released a story trailer that revealed the character you see here, Marissa Chase. So, we've just learned a couple of things about her. She's trying to help Drake escape, she wants her amulet back, and she doesn't do guns. Come on, I'm not here. going to tell you a lot about what's going on because, frankly, Drake doesn't know what's going on. One of the things I like about Uncharted is how I get swept up in the experience. Here. In Golden yeah, Abyss, we've under. created a mystery that sort of engulfs Drake, and we want the player to experience it. it along with him. Okay, I'm clear. Who is this girl? Why Worth won't she use a thugs. gun? She's obviously not afraid. She did set fire to a shack to create a diversion, after all. What's going on up there? And she helped Drake escape, and is leading the way through the shanty compound to find Dante. And why is this amulet so important to her? Crap. I thought there was a ladder. All right, I'll help you up. You ready? Yeah. Up you go. Wait there. I'll find a rope or something. Whoa, look out. Kind of a heavy rope. Sorry, it's all I could find. Over the course of the game, the player will find answers to these questions uh. right along with Nathan Drake. Up this way. All right, enough about story. Let's talk about some of the new gameplay that we're showing off. We're you've seen a couple of the buddy interactions that you've come to expect in an Uncharted game. And up to this point, you've seen that Drake has taken out all of these thugs using stealth. Many of our combat scenarios are set up so that you can stealth your way through them or run and gun. It's your choice. If Drake had alerted any of these guys, the situation would have gone down very differently. To initiate an attack, just tap on your target or on the melee icon when it appears. It's an example of how we use the Vetus touchscreen only where it makes sense. In this next example, if Drake is at a spot where he can help a buddy climb, an icon appears. Just follow the gesture with a swipe to help chase up. But just when you think things are under control, everything goes to hell. Now that Drake's on his own, players have to explore a bit and figure out for themselves how to get up to the road where Chase is waiting. As we've shown in our other demos, you can either use the sticks and buttons to navigate or drag your finger along the Vita's touch touchscreen to paint a climbing path. Balance beam gameplay on the Vita is intuitive because the motion controls and screen are on the same device, so there's no disconnect between what you're seeing and doing. Sequences like this really show off the power of the Vita. The amount of detail our artists have been able to put into these levels is amazing. Not just the special effects like the fire and the smoke, but the sheer number of objects and textures. Shots like these rooftop vistas would have been impossible to pull off on any other handheld. Nate! There's a patrol coming! Drake! Nate! I'm up! As a developer, one of the things I like best about Uncharted is how it challenged us to find fun and creative ways to get Drake off the ground. Oh, thank God. I thought you were hurt. I told you to stay down. You could get us killed. Worse. I thought you'd want to know about a patrol. Oh, okay, fine. But if you don't want me to warn you. No, really. Fine. 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 Chase. Okay. This way. And we've given players reasons to do just that. In this level alone, there are half a dozen treasures and artifacts used to solve bonus mysteries. These require you to take photos, do charcoal rubbings, and piece together torn documents, all of which requires exploration. Here we're showcasing some of the combat gameplay that makes Uncharted so much fun to play, like Drake's ability to slide into cover, and his ability to quickly snap from low cover to high cover his ability to sneak or run and gun when dealing with enemies, his ability to sneak and move while crouched behind cover. But when you get tired of sneaking around, there's nothing like a bone-crunching fist fight. Over like here. the stealth takedowns, like our melee system uses the Vita's touch screen. Tap on the thug to throw punches and match the swipe gesture to kick his butt. If you get outnumbered, you run like hell and find cover. Too many of them to handle without getting shot? 
Use blind fire to push them back while staying safe yourself behind cover. Open the shoulder mode slows you down, but brings your targets in much closer. Precision aiming will help you survive. Unique to Uncharted Golden Abyss is how we combine ever so slightly the motion control of Vita with our analog stick aiming. It's subtle, but very effective, again because your controller and view screen are on the same device. Making Uncharted Golden Abyss has been a lot of fun for us, because of the amount of variety Come players on. get to experience in a rich cinematic adventure. The Vita has allowed us to keep the next-gen look of Uncharted, while at the same time making gameplay unique for the handheld. And the thing I like best about the game? You never know what's waiting just around the next corner.